I've never known <laughs> rain in these past two days like this. Little tip for anyone who's going to start YouTube and gardening. Do you, or even gardeners, when you think you're going to do your garden, do it if it's a nice day. Because I've put off and put off and put off. Then the day I thought, you know, it's the last minute to do it. The only time I can do it, it's... down. How do everyone? I'll just get this coat off. We're, we're going to be in, in the... Well, actually, I can, I've got plenty of room in here there now to do the video. I want to give you just a few tips. Probably three tips, four tips, I don't know. But just like making life a little bit simpler in this like in a February, March time for growing. First off, I've got a seat somewhere in here where I've had for I've had for ages my camping seat. We've never okay, we don't go camping no more. Let me just pull this out. Cobwebbed up to the eyeballs. Oh this is actually called a big boy chair. <laughs> Look at I'll even show you. Can you see big boy chair? So we're all in the throes of February, March, you know, all our little kind of seedlings are coming on and we're kind of trans, you know, we're going to go through the process of transplanting, transplanting. Now, my chilli seeds are in the second stage of transplanting. So in the little green pots, they, they kind of germinated from them. Then I've put them into kind of some, some kind of garland trays. After that, they'll probably go into another pot, but then... This one, and then there'll be another, another, but this is the pot. And I've done a video on this before. These are, and I've gotten, and I'll put a link to where I got them. I didn't get them off Amazon, but I got them from a kind of a plant, online plant, but the cheapest chips. This is a rose pot, or what you would call a rose pot, but you can see straight away the secret to it. Do you know what I mean? Just nice and deep there. So, this is probably my final, this or will be my final stage of planting plants, putting the plant in there, the, the chili plant in there, to give it the best start before it finally goes in the, the quad grows over there. And it was my mum that told me, you know, my mum was a fantastic plants woman. And we had these, you know, not these particular ones, a different variety, a different brand, and maybe a touch smaller as well, but a, a rose pot never the same in this allotment. This is where my mum kind of started things and finished things off in these pots. Again, I'll put a link to them. They're not affiliate or anything like that. It's just that final stage before the kind of wherever they go. Get them the roots as best you can. And I find these pots are just fantastic. Rose pots. Have a look, but there's a link down there. And I got, there was actually about, I I got about 100. Do you know what I mean? Next thing out and they came next two day postage so it was kind of no 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 brainer to be honest another tip let me show you this so this now you've kind of all seen we kind of go on about these kind of fast roof kits these from garland then you get them there's a link below off grown local as well and we've all got them and we're all using them and they're they're just they don't damage the roots, do you know what I mean? Because you can kind of snap them apart, let me show you. But this one is slightly different. And it's going to be ideal because I've got onions to transplant today and marathon carabli, car, carablis, yes, car, <laughs> calabrese. And I've got some cauliflower. And I'm going to show you how to use it and what to do with these. Now, yes, this is damned early. These are a lucky stab in, you know, in, in the kind of very early on, these two brassicas to try and get, to try and cheat nature and get a good crop. That's what I'm doing, but I'll show you what I'm doing. So this is your, your tree, but it comes with actually two set, two different things that you're used to. So it is a self-watering tree. So normally you would just get the tree with the, the little plastic clear lid and these pots. And these pots are fab because they just break apart and you can get your roots, you know, you can take your plants out great. But it now comes, let's just take these out. It comes with this, I don't know if you can kind of see that. So it's got feet on there. So your pots stay on top of this line there. And then this is your little water reservoir under there. So you put that down, fill this with water. And let's just show you, there's a capillary matting action going on as well. You pop that in there. So the water kind of draws all that up. And then 
sinks down. So you must have this, if you, I don't know if you can kind of see, I'm gonna do like a little test, but it basically kind of just, I've just had another look at the instructions. It goes like that, then you have your pots and it, it works on the capillary action of like the water drawn up through the mat and feeds these. And you, you know, you're not kind of worried. So the, the whole idea is for me now to kind of transplant these are the onions that are, you know, the, the kind of not got the onion white rot, hopefully, onion bonus F1. So what I'm going to do is transplant some into there, then leave these just in the polytunnel. And that goes for the same for the marathon calabrese and the cauliflower as well. So I'll fill these up. I didn't have to actually go too far to get water. That's just straight out of the... The wheelbarrow there, it's full of water. So again, like you see, you can see, I don't know if you can see there when we finger how deep it is. That's your, your pad that goes on. And then this capillary action is, and actually this needs to be wet. Anyway, so I'll just give it a little soak and first. Don't always wet your capillary matting first, you know what I mean? Just to, so it has that draw up effect. So can you see, there's, that's how much I'm kind of gonna just bend over and go into the pot and then that's on a nice straight line, you know, so it's level, so there's nothing drying on this side. So you just sink that into there like that. And then I'm gonna to top up these now with soil. So I've filled them up and I've also as well, give them a little bit of water. So just, it kick starts them, you know what I mean? And everyone tells you to kind of do that as well. And again, this is just gonna save me a lot of hassle just worrying about if I've watered this day, you know what I mean? They're just there kind of set, done, maybe a week, maybe two weeks, you know, especially this weather. Let me just get these planted up. There we go then, that's one lid on. I can get that lid on there. And I'll just keep the air vents open and I'm like gonna leave that, like I say, up here in the allotments. So I'm gonna get the onions done and then we'll come back. So there we go then. Both trays done. I've got the onions in there and I've put the, the plastic lid on. I'll probably take that plastic lid off if I'm if I'm honest. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't really need it. I mean, them onions could probably go outside. I had, yes, it's like February, but I've had onions in here before that kind of frozen rock solid and still picked up. So again, there's the, the calabrese and the cauliflower. And this is just the kind of first shot in the dark to see if it works. But just the ease of self-watering is, you know, a brilliant little time saver. It's all about making it easier. Do you know what I mean? Especially if you're a new gardener and it's kind of, things just, it, it all just starts to come. You know, things are kind of taken off, things need transplanting, things need sowing, things need repotting out. It all just kind of comes a little bit too quick. And then you, you've got your glut on top of that. So little kind of tips, little kind of things that can help you and just ease off that pressure. Let us just show you this as well. Now on a, a bigger scale, as you can see there, these are my quad grows and I've got all these set up in the polytunnel again with the reservoirs at the bottom. Same principle, you know, the capillary action, the actual cloth comes through that hole in the middle and draws up the water from the reservoir. Now I got these and big can thank you to Ian at Grown Local who's sponsoring this show. You get with the word quadtastic you get 10% off these quad grows. So this is what I'm using and you can kind of see I've got they're all kind of laid out there and this Maybe not in the height of summer, but they kind of say two weeks between each water and yes, height of summer and heat is all dependent on your area. But I'm hoping to kind of that this whole process of coming up every day and water, water, watering is going to end with this quad, quad grows using the code quadtastic. Now, I've just had another message from Ian there as well. There's a sale on broad beans. So if you want your broad beans now, now it's a little bit late, but get, get them in, get them sorted there. £1.29 and if you're wanting kind of seeds, honestly, growing local is where we kind of all go at the moment. You know what I mean? It's just a fantastic little place. You get, if you buy 10 bags, you get one bag free. And if you use my code Tony, you get another 10% off as well. So fantastic. So like I say, if you want the trays or the seeds, just there's a link in the description to, to my page on growing local, just pop over there. Let's see how these work. Cause I just think that's a great idea. Do you know what I mean? Just self watering, just to ease off that pressure. So from a very wet, northeast of England. Look after yourselves. Take good care.